today. We're still on the hunt for beefalo. This should not be much longer. You know, as long as you kind of stick to a set set strategy of just going around the map. You see, as soon as you see the the grass, oh, there was a mandrake. I won't actually pick it up though. See, it shows on the mini map. All right, so here goes a grass biome. Let's hope that uh, or no, maybe it isn't. All right, let's go this way. Hold on. Let's just see where the grass. Let's see if there's any grass up here. Oh, there we go. There goes one beefalo. And there you go on the mini map. You see where's my beefalo? Which highlights the beefalo in red. There goes another. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Beefalo for days. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Alright. So I'm, I'm not going to set up yet. You know, let's not get overzealous. Let's just, um, let's wait a little bit. Let's look for things. We're going to see. There is any more? Yeah, that would be beautiful. That was a land bridge. I would love a land bridge right there. Oh, let's not dig that up. But it's cool. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna check this area, and I'm gonna go around to this area. Okay. We're gonna see what's here. Like it looks like this might be a good spot to set up out here. I don't want to be on top of the beef floor because when the beef floor are mating season, they will hurt you. Alright, so I'm going to check around this bend and I'm going to double check this area, but 90% chance we're going to set up out here. You know, there's uh, there's tons of grass. We have the some berry bushes that we see already. There actually goes a bee, beehive. We have the forest directly down here. We have some spiders that we'll be able to farm up. Yeah, this is seeming pretty optimal, but let me just double check this area. The more natural resources you don't need to touch, the better. Because, uh, the thing about berry bushes... Oh wow, another mandrake. The thing about berry bushes, it will completely screw you over if you have to constantly farm manure for them. The more natural ones you have sitting around, the better. Why are there so many mandrakes in this world? Alright. I'm assuming that there might be some pigs down here. That would be really nice if there are pigs down here. Let's see. My hunger is... Pretty low. 17. But, uh... Should be able to last. Let's see here. No, no pigs. Actually, I think the pigs will have, like, a cobblestone path to go into them. Yeah. Forget it. Nothing... Let's not set up down here. We'll just set up like more in the center of the map. Because I really do think that is around the center of the map. I like that. This is actually really great. This is not usual. I don't really get this often. So we'll set up around here, directly in the center. We'll have the, the advantage of being able to travel fast on these paths. Everything. The beefalo will be right there. And let's just get that done. So I'm going to head back, start getting things set up start working on getting those bees going then um, we'll probably burn down this forest over here on this side so we can get some charcoal and you know, work on those drying racks whole lot of things guys and we have three mandrakes just sitting around always good uh, let's just pick up the manure too Eat the seed. A cooked seed is the same has the same benefits. 4.7, 4.7, and it's really good. That's what I'm saying. Like you want to, you want to have some of these mods. It will help you understand the game more. And even in Don't Starve Together, what I'm showing right now, you can apply. Obviously, the man drinks aren't in yet. The cave system isn't in yet. But I won't be showing any of the cave content for this. I will be doing another playthrough though of me doing vanilla, or probably even continuing this one, showing vanilla. So there we go. You see two berry, three berry bushes right here. Perfect. Oh man, this is gonna just, this is gonna work out so well. All right. So, like I said, I'll probably just set up right on the path. Let's go up a little bit more. There goes some bees. Let's use the bug net. Let's get this one while we can. 
since it's already out here, we'll plant this down here. Uh, the flowers, I have to catch the butterfly to make a flower. Flowers needed for bees to actually develop the honey faster. And you know, we'll put the bee box somewhere down here since there goes a flower that's already there. Alright, so we'll set up base right here. Let's do that science machine again. One right there. Let's. Uh, we need to get some wood. Okay. Just wonder why he wasn't cutting. So we get a campfire set up, and yeah, we'll just pretty much get a base taken care of right now. And you can use a shovel to dig up this dump. Okay. Let's get the campfire made. Campfires are permanent, so once you get that made, you're pretty much good to go. We're going to cook these berries. There's tons of berries for us to, to actually work with around here. So we'll do that. And I will plant these bushes up here. The twigs or saplings, they don't need anything special. Like you don't need to put manure on them or anything. But the berry bushes you do. So I just like to do this, just pretty much hold down the key and you can just line them up perfectly. Alright. Let's do one right there. Oh good. Don't want them too close so down here. And what else do I need? Now I need to get the boards. So that's going to be a little bit of wood gathering tomorrow and... Um, is there anything else? Let's see here. My sister's almost ready to deploy. Once the flower is full bloom, then you, like, you, I'll show you guys. It hits, like, a red flower that you can just drop. You should be good to go. Alright, let's, uh, fuel this up. Let's not use the wood. Use some of the manure. And t tonight, we'll just look at the recipes, because I don't remember a lot of things off the top of my head. Um... So I think for the bee box, that should be under food. Bee box needs two boards, two boards, a honeycomb, and four bees. So we're going to set up two bee boxes, that's for sure. And then we want the drying rack. That's twigs, three twigs, two charcoal, three ropes. Oh, okay, so we're going to need a decent amount of grass. We're going to need a lot of grass. So I want to get a few of those. And... I want to set up improved farms, which that's going to need the alchemy machine I need. Yeah, I need the alchemy engine. Alright, so more grass. A lot of grass, a lot of manure, and some rocks. Alright. All right, we know where the rocks are. We can drop a lot of the stuff on the ground. Don't need this. Um, we have a torch. Let's hold on to the silk, because we're going to have to make another bug net. We can drop the manure. Oh, and there goes Abigail's flower. I'll show you guys how to use Abigail's flower. Nitri. Don't need that. Hold on to twigs. Hold on to the flint to make our tools. Spider glands. We'll actually eat these to heal up. And hold on to this. Alright, so we have everything that we need. Alright, let's move out. Uh, she must catch this butterfly while it's right next to us. Plant this. There's another butterfly. Plant that. Alright. The more butterflies you have in an area, the better. Because, or the more flowers you have in an area, the better. Because that means more butterflies are going to keep popping out from those flowers. And then after you can actually make yourself like a sandy farm. Where you're just always picking up flowers and replanting butterflies. This is why I love this game, just so many little things that you just have to pay attention to. Let's eat that. And see, there you go, another butterfly. Shouldn't be wasting time over here though, replanting them. Let's get out here, let's work on these bees. 
Well, you know, let's work on a lot of things. We need to get grass. We need to get wood. We really need to focus on the wood, actually. That should be my number one priority. Oh, whoa. I didn't expect the beef flow to roam over here. Remember, eat the carrots raw. Works out better for you. Uh, do I have an axe? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, we're also going to want to have some crock pots. I forgot about that. But I think crock pots are pretty simple to set up. So I'm just going to start cutting down these trees. It's nice to have a base pretty much ready to go by day four. Cut down some more trees. Don't forget you can dig up the stumps, but no reason for me to do that right now. You just focus on getting this getting this wood ready. So four pieces of wood turn to let me think here. Four pieces of wood turn to one board, so I need for the bees. I want, oh actually I also need the alchemy machine so you know what, let's just get a whole lot of wood pretty much. These are the parts, see this right here, ring thing, oh guys there's beefalo right here, holy hell, I thought they roamed from over there, oh goodness gracious, maybe I should have went down a little bit more, oh no, so there's actually beefalo over here. Interesting. Well, hopefully these guys don't roam too close to my base. If anything, I use I use them against the oh no, it's only two of them. I use the hounds against them whenever I get attacked. So I'm just gonna keep gathering wood and grass. Today's a day just for wood and grass, pretty much. Gonna need a whole lot of wood. This is nice. You see, this is wood, and I understand why people set up next to pigs, because like this task right here with three pigs is just a lot easier. You can use the pigs to help you gather. My character is going to start getting a little hungry here, so I need to start gathering some berries too. And this tree right here, whenever you chop this one down, you know, you think it's going to attack you. But uh, it actually gives you a night, I think it's the Nightmare Wood, I don't even know the exact name. I have not played this, like, I haven't gone that deep into the game. For a while. I'll chop it down right now just to show you guys what it gives you. I think it's called Living Wood. I think that's the name. I'm not sure if it's going to give you Nightmare Fuel. That's what I was thinking of. Let's see. Man, this tree is intense. Bad boy doesn't want to go down. Okay. Now let's make another axe for your ass then. There we go. Can I use a shovel here? There we go. Living Log, that's the name. Can't do max. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now is start heading back to the base. And let's pick up some berries. Need a few berries. Uh, let's check our map. There's a three right there. And I have a feeling there's a decent amount up here, but we'll pick up these three and we'll check these two if there's any on there. And then we'll just cook those berries for now. Just remember the name of the game is not to starve, guys, so <laughs> let's make sure we don't do that on this playthrough. I think the next day is when I'm going to cut the video though. Just go to day 5 and then we'll call it. And we will continue this on the next video. Um, not exactly there yet. Be sure to hit that sub button guys. Tell me what you want to see. If there's anything that you want me to 
um, elaborate on, explain a little bit more of the game. If there's something that you're not understanding, tell me. I mean, the reason I'm not picking up these berry bushes is because they're directly next to the base. I don't need to fertilize them, and that means that there's like you know there's chances of them popping up during the winter time. So you know I'm just gonna head back to base right on time. And get a good fire going. Let's pick up some grass too. I have a torch just in case. Matter of fact, I might just stay out tonight and just gather torches. Nah, I, I should go back to the house or base, I should say, and cook this stuff with some more berries. More grass. Alright, let's get that torch out. Alright, perfect. So we can make, should be able to make the alchemy engine now. Probably gonna need to get some more wood, but you know what? We'll start working. We got enough grass. Yeah, decent amount of grass, beautiful. Alright, let's get over here. Let's uh might as well use some manure here. Stack that. I don't let the torch burn out. What does it matter? And so let's refine. I know some people don't tend to rush this, but we need two stones, alright, two cut stones, and there we go. I know a lot of people don't tend to rush this, but I think having the alchemy engine early on is pretty good, Espe especially for what I want to get accomplished. You know, the improved farm I think is very important early on. There's just a few things that I feel as if you need to have. Alright, and let's cook these berries now. We'll eat these. Alright, there we go. Stomach's at 93. Should be good to go. Let's see if we can get some more bees. Carrots too. All right, good. I love the carrots early on in the game. It's a butterfly. Don't really need that right now. Some more carrots. Where are the bees right now? Must be out by the flowers. Where are the flowers? Okay, these bees just don't seem to be out right now. Okay. Uh, still no biggie. There's a lot of things I still need to get. I still need more grass. I need to get more wood. Getting that improved farm up would be a great thing early on too. But uh, that's gonna involve getting some rock. So I don't, I don't know where the bees are. I don't know why they're not just all out in force. I wonder if we could find another area with some bees. Oh, this should. I think these roads right here lead to. Yeah, the cobblestone roads should lead to the pigs. Let's see. There goes another beehive. Oh, Chester. Chester, guys. We got Chester. Nice. And there he goes. There goes me, amigo. So you see, he just comes hopping along. I'll throw that living log in him. Put the bee in there. I'll eat the seed. Um, stack the wood. Give him the pine cones. He can hold on to the... Butterflies. Is there anything else? Not really. Actually, he could have a soap too. Alright. More beats. I don't know where the bees are though. Like, I see them. I see the hives. I just don't see the bees out here. What's going on? Let's see if there's some more out here. Hopefully. My sandy still hasn't been dropping. But we'll pick up 12 flowers so we can make a garland. And I have no clue what's going on with these bees. This is very weird. Because remember guys, we need to catch four bees. Typically it's not like this. You see them at least flying around. I've only caught that one. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
That's not fun. So yeah, the killer bees come out if you catch capture the bee close to their hive. Close, Vip. So how many bees is that? Three. And we, uh, we have the one in Chester's. So that makes four. And now let's see if I can get Abigail to spawn for tomorrow. I'll get Abigail spawned and we'll cut the video off at that point. Because what we're going to have to do now is start destroying those beehives. And Abigail does a great job at that. Oh, what we can do is even make a trap. What, what you need to do is basically sacrifice something for Abigail to spawn. Like you need to do a blood sacrifice, a blood ritual for her to end up spawning. Kind of weird, I know. But you'll see why I love her so much. So let's see something. I never tried with a B. It really doesn't matter. Let's see. Murder. Oh. Okay. Well, that didn't work out so well, guys. I know if you murder a rabbit or something, you should be satisfied. We just wasted three Bs. Oh my goodness. Dumbest thing I could have possibly done there. Great. Alright. Well, we're going to stay out tonight. Get some things done. I'll probably even explore some more. This is just horrible. Well, I guess maybe I should have thrown the bee down on the... Did I put the flower on the ground? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, you have to have the flower down on the ground and... Kill something. I, I guess it does not work for bees. It was worth, worth a test, you know, for science. That wasn't so good, though. Now we gotta collect three more bees again just for one. Hopefully I can, uh... Find some more locations for the bees, because I, I don't know what's going on. Here goes a koala fin track. We're not going to do that right now, because I don't really have a spear, a decent weapon to deal with them. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find a good spot for a campfire so we can just like farm all these rocks. Oh, did I just hear a spider? If that's a spider I heard. Ah, forget it. Let's get this campfire up right around here, guys. Right in the center. Okay. Let's get a decent do some flame going and let's get a pickaxe because we're gonna need the rocks need it for the improved farms so like never never let your nights go to waste never you just take advantage of them it's only two ticks of night but you know what always take advantage of night a lot of people just like sit around and do nothing what you want to be doing is gathering and getting more resources Exploring, just always be doing something in this game. <sighs> but I'm sorry about making that error with the, the bees. Well, hopefully you guys don't have to do what I just did. There we go. Night's about to end. Our flame lasted all night through the rain. 
the rain also takes away at your sanity the longer it rains. And uh, you know what? We'll probably call the video there, guys. So let me just pick up a few more of these. Here goes a spare. We'll pick that up and yeah, I will call it right there. So let's save and quit. Um, so yeah, just you know, comment on the video. Tell me what you want to see. Um, I'll probably be doing this this whole tutorial thing until we make it through the first winter, and then I will actually shift it into a direction of me learning a few things because I haven't really messed around with the caves. And um, I know there's a few additions with the caves and a lot of additions with Reign of Giants. So there's a whole lot of things I have to experience in the game. But I wanted to show a lot of the vanilla aspect that I know and how easy the game can be as long as you, you actually go into the game with a set goal and what you want to get done. We still have a lot of time to get the bees. It's until like day 20, like day 20 is when, day 21, I think actually is when winter starts. So, you know. I have enough time so uh let's just set our goals get things accomplished try to have your base set up by day five at least and then at like, like in my case i don't really need to explore much more than that because everything that i need is pretty much readily available to me so you know just realize what you need to get done get it done in timely fashion and you will be successful guys so until the next video thanks for watching and remember hit that sub button uh you can also follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash fit me and you know um i'm also on twitter fit me tv thanks again guys hope you enjoyed the video fit me signing out